Hello, hello, how's it going? Welcome. Mundo, thank you for contributing to the uh, community challenges and also thank you for the hydrates. Today is... To, to D? Today is D&D &D night. Leandra is back and this is probably going to be the last session of Written in Blood because we are pretty much at the end. So... Unless we somehow manage to make this take the extraordinary amount of time it should it should be the thing. So we shall see. It's daytime, what do you mean? Well um it's <laughs> it's 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 night for me. <laughs> but hello, hello, how are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Wait, what is Redeem suggests community challenge or sub goal? What is that? Is that a thing I have? Oh. I've anyways, um as per usual when it's D and D night, um I am not able to talk the chat the way I usually do because I'm in a chat with other people on voice call. Uh some of them are streaming and I don't want to be talking over them or their streams. So I mute myself to talk to chat and I try to do it in lulls of conversation. So sometimes my replies might be late or uh, broken up because I'm waiting for the right opportunity to talk. But yeah, hello, hello and welcome. And uh, I'm going to join the voice call now. Hello. Chat box is not the chat box. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't know why it's not okay. It's okay. Everybody use a different language. <laughs> hey. All right. Are we all together? Are we all ready? Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Uh, we exist. <laughs> we exist. I'm Everyone's ready. Be is Isaac back yet with the yes. water? I'm here. Yes. yes, I have water. Nice. I took a drink of it. I hydrated Mundle. Everything's great. Good. Good. Rage. Water. No, I'm <laughs> eating. I have enchilada. <laughs> water. <laughs> I'm. Since we're basically. Most uh, half of this group has decided that Dan's house rule of making a player do the recap in exchange for inspiration. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and roll that. Uh, let's roll a die, huh? Let's see who gets gets that inspiration that might save your ass today. Don't feel like that. <laughs> uh, Mundle. Oh shit. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, I actually need to remember what the fuck happened last time. My memory. Uh, what was the first thing you did last time? Um, we were in. You were in the middle of a fight with coyotes. Right. Oh. All right then. Last time on the Radiant Citadel, <laughs> God's breath or whatever this campaign is called, we were fighting three slightly oversized coyotes to rescue some farmer. Um, did manage that. One coyote ran away, the other two were killed, um, de de-teethed and de a farmer was taken. The farmer notified us that the place we need to go is not far off, so we went back to the cart and went straight there. On the path, we found a few little hands who gave us a hand and sank our cart. Little detached hands just crawled off the ground and attacked us for some reason. Not <laughs> quite sure what I was about. <laughs> the cart was ultimately stuck or lost. Not really, no idea. We went. We continued on to the village or farming or whatever, where we needed to go. And basically, everything is goddamn dead. The houses are full of bones and. Red crosses are on all of the houses, so very inviting. Um, we went from house to house. So far, nobody has invited us in. Uh, then we came to a big house where I think that's the place we're supposed to go. Where the... Yeah, the far house, yes. Yeah, his house. Mm -hmm. I cannot pronounce that name. Uh, Tiana. <laughs> Tiana. Tiana. Tia over T. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> Kiana. Key, key. The, the house where we needed Anna. to go to, we walked up. Yeah. Um, Spelling of it. 
our little friend. <laughs> Why do you put in the designated treasure? Uh, oh shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Leandro was lifted up to by Kara to a window and gave herself a little staring contest with uh, one of the farmers who was still alive. Yep. But weird, probably yep. enemy. <laughs> um, then consequently, a little little uh, <laughs> cobalt Hi, was Peter. yeeted through the window. Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Another person crawled through, the next one teleported through, the other two ran through the door. And now we're currently fighting in a room, but I think Leandro put everything everyone to sleep, right? Yep. Everyone was put to sleep yep. at the end, and yep. now we're kind of just in a house, in a dead village, <laughs> having fought a few farmers, and everything is gonna go great. Alright. I think that's basically everything. Yeah, that's you got it. <laughs> You can go ahead and add that inspiration to your sheet. Right. <laughs> Time to uh, jump off. Here. All right. So let me bring y'all in. Nope. That's Wait, that's not joking. Yes. English. There we go. <laughs> so, and we we will pick up right from there. Uh, Leandra had just put all four fa possessed farmers in the kitchen to sleep. They're all laying on the ground, quite inert, still li alive, still breathing. Uh, sleepy. But sleepy. Baylog, you were coming in down the hallway. The rest of you are in the kitchen. And the story is yours. I need to close my build menu. I just realized that was still open. Time to build another roof. Time to build a new roof. Time to build another floor. <laughs> the dungeon is increasing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, uh... Inspiration button, inspiration button, yes. inspiration button. Inspiration button, yes. <laughs> yes. The floor is yours. Where are you going now? Um, is, 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 is everybody okay? <laughs> Alright, sound off. Who is not dead yet and needs healing? <laughs> It hurt. <laughs> oh, is the little one hurt? Uh -huh. ah, no surprise considering you jumped into that uh, completely on your own. Well, that thrown. Um, it one hurt less than you are. Or I'm... actually, I don't remember how many times he got hit. I'm at 25 out of 41. That's not too bad. That still you hurts. Have, you have how many hit points? Yes. Oh. She rolled very. Leandra, <laughs> Leandra, play math, learning what it's like to play a wizard. <laughs> to be fair, it has a lot of health even for our standards. Like I'm with, with a cleric, I have twenty six max. I yeah, I almost rolled max hit points for each of those hit die. I was even I was surprised. I was just like, fuck, okay. <laughs> like you're half, you're almost half health, and yet you have the same amount of health that I do. You just <laughs> have taken a single point of damage. <laughs> oh, great. <gasps> Is anybody else hurt? Uh, I believe Yua is a little bit damaged after that crit. Uh, okay. She's at 24 out of 36. <clears throat> that six creatures that would be wasted. So she's got a nice stab wound in the back. Well, he can... Pitchfork. We are fucked. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, I, I ain't oh, fucked in love until I'm dead. That's... That's you oh. Just jump into a room with enemies. Oh wow, a two and a one. I uh, both get a healing word. Um, one gets whoever wants to. Um, five and four health. <laughs> I don't know. Oof. It gets four health because they have a lot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Very good. I'm going to make sure how many spells I actually do have. Okay. Riff. Three spells. That's wrong then. Well, I have one level. One first level spell slot left. How do I? <laughs> that, we should have two spell slots left because we're in the same day. 
I have so little spells. <laughs> Taking a rest is always an option. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Mm, I'd first look into the other, at least at the side rooms. <laughs> Let's take a rest immediately. Something comes through the door. <laughs> God. Um, I can remember giving one person a plus one weapon. Who was that? Me. Okay, good. Just to remember. Yeah, I remember. I give a plus one to my longbow. I just back up. Okay. Um, hmm. I, do I even have? <laughs> the question, do I even have healing? Hmm. <laughs> good berry. I <laughs> could. <laughs> um... Down to one spell. I could. Hey, yeah. Hold on. This. Hmm? Well, if I'm seeing this correctly, we have like four room options. Which one do we want to take? Well, before we do that, Carlos, and then look over to the two destructively hurt cannonballers and cast Goodberry and pass five over to each of them to like eat, eat them. Little oh, help. <laughs> Eat the berries. Eat, eat them and the eat berries. them. They both get five. Puts <laughs> <laughs> me up to 33. 34. All right, all right, all right. We don't have one spell slot left now. <laughs> Everything will be fine. Yeah, yeah it will. Fine. You have a plus one weapon. You nah, healed your yeah. cannonballs. We'll be fine. Yeah. Right. You healed your cannonballs. Everything's just... going to be fine. Be careful. Um, Wait, let's get going. No. <laughs> While everybody's figuring their stuff out, uh, Carol's gonna kind of go over to the bodies and tie okay. up their hands. Okay. But if they wake up, they're not just running around. Well, hands and feet, I guess. Um, We're hog tying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give him. Uh, you first. You're getting guidance, and I'm giving help action. Give me um. Okay. Give me uh, some. You know, give me four sleight of hand checks just to see how well you tie each of them up. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna yes. re keep giving you guidance for that. <laughs> 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 and just uh... after each one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what is my sleight of hand? Oh, I got a plus four. It's a good, decent stat. Oh no! Oh no! First one is. Uh, oh, and I'm getting help action, right? Yep. Oh, guidance. even better. Guidance that is... <laughs> I, well, the guidance yeah. is only a 1, but that gave me a dirty 20, so 24. Okay, so... Once for the first four. one. Natural 20 on the second one. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 15 on the third one. Okay. That helped a lot. So 21 on the fourth one. Okay. Yep. You tie them all up. Whether or that... not how they look, they look like sound knots to you. Yep. Pretty sound knots. Yep. Just in case they wake up. Um, yeah. It's a good thing. <laughs> I'm running out of rope. I think I only have a few feet left. <laughs> I'll um, get you more later. Pick a direction. Um. Lori. Kind of uh, here. There's a door. Four, five, six. Yep, you see there's a door. There are two doors. Well, three doors leading out of this room. One has been opened and you know goes into the hallway. The other two. No clue. Uh, do, do we want to pick one? Outside doorway is one two. Inside doorway to the closet is three four. Uh, one behind. You've got that tiny one two. on the loose. <laughs> uh, closet door. Roll to three. Okay. Was going Deep to into the hallway. You was gonna go open that door. Okay. Deep. All right, we're gonna do deep first because deep. 
got to me first on opening something, apparently. Uh, Which door did you... Oh, oh. Or, no, it just put Yua there. Okay, so Yua opened the thing. So Yua... But you see... Hold on. Boop. Uh, you open this door, you see a little kitchen storeroom. You see pots, pans, uh, some foodstuffs. Um, upon opening the door, you also see what looks like a cellar door. Probably okay. down to more storage. Oh, we have a cellar down here. Oh, great. Cellars are always amazing in these situations. Mm, yes, I'm sure there could be many uh, nice things hiding down there, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you want to check the other rooms first? There Perhaps that is be best. More farmers. Uh, we might have to stop them from coming up behind us, maybe? Yeah. I agree with that Let's logic. Well, I would not want to be trapped down there. No, that would be exceedingly bad. Out of door, then? Let's do that, yes. Good. Eat. How? Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would make another note while everybody's moving around uh Karo's gonna move some of the furniture around in that room that's tossed about and try to give the unconscious farmers a, a better place to like lay them out to the side so we have more room <laughs> <laughs> he's tidying up <laughs> he's tidying up good invades another house tidies the house up Andrew's opening this door. Okay, so in this door, you can see this appears to be a. Let me just double check this. Yep. I see a long, plain table, wooden sideboard, and several chairs lie shattered on the floor. The debris is streaked with crimson stains. This room looks equally as torn up as the kitchen. Hmm. This house just gets more and more charming, doesn't it? Um, yes, yes, although the, the furniture is not quite mine. I like this more stone on the rock. Hmm. Is there anything of note? Um. That I. I mean, other side from the stains every on the table, you do hear. Uh, Baylog, you do hear as you're getting closer to the table, you hear a scratching sound. Careful under the table, baby. Can I bend down to look at under the table? <laughs> you certainly can. I do. You I do. Okay. You <laughs> see a whole bunch. You see. Wait. Not you more see hands. six of those hands from before. Oh. Those just clinging to the table. As soon as they see you, and I realize they've been the scouter, they all start skittering out and are very hostile. I need y'all to roll initiative again. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, six of them. Where is the sixth one? There's six. It went for holiday. One, two, three, four. That's five. Where's is he six? One? There's this one that's like on top of the chandelier, or no, the candlestick. Oh, I, I, I'm too low down. I'm too low down. That's why. I was like, where the fuck? <laughs> yes. There six. Let me move that so he's not on the. There we go. There you go. Okay, the initiative it. is oh, yes. plus four. Okay. Got it. Still doing Mercy style, right? Uh, yes. And at least I've got Hyatt on the four this time. Hey, yeah, me too. Progress. I don't have my dice out. <laughs> <laughs> that, I fucked up. Uh -oh. you, can, you can use the in-game dice, pretty quick, if nah. you need to. Digital yeah, dice are more disrespectful than actual dice. <laughs> Digital dice. actual dice are disrespectful enough. <laughs> oh, you're making me care if I'm human again? How dare you? How very dare you. Come, there we go. Oh, it's... Wait, are we all rolling, or just the people in the room? Oh, all of you. Because you're probably going to hear this, just to... Keep it easy here. I mean, we're really about to just go into the room anyways. Get 
these damage dice ready. I think just one. Well, I could be using this that. I've got a lot to roll for here. Dang it, they just keep on the same number, too. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, no, I, you don't understand. They four of them rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> it's really quite impressive. All right, there's not any... Okay. Hmm. Nice roll. A 12 on a d12. Yeah. All right. Uh, twenty-five to twenty. Yep, twenty. Twenty. I didn't actually put any of you in this. That's great. Boop. Nice. Boop. 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 Uh. Boop. 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 Uh, 15 to 10? Oh, uh, 10. Okay. Oof. Duh. And then you've got a 10. Uh, 10 to 5? 9. 9. 9, 9, 9. 9, 9, 9. <laughs> 5 to 1. What did you get there, you are? Isaac? Hey, hey. Oh. Uh, Error of oh. for Isaac, Isaac, not. Hello? Ah, <laughs> oh, there, there we are. There we go. Hello. Okay. What, what'd you roll? I rolled an 18. <laughs> All right! <laughs> Did you not hear the entire... Okay. Uh, it was kind of cut out for a moment because Discord okay. was bugging. Okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. It'll happen. Okay, so Kara, you rolled a 19? Good old Discord. Yes. Okay, cool. Alright, so Leandra! There are six hands starting to skitter out from underneath the table. They're not on top of the table, they're still under the table. Yep. Um, the closest one, mm -hmm. um, just uh, that so one this is just to, is potentially one, okay. yep getting so that ray of frost that one is going to get hover is ray of frost an attack roll uh yeah okay so that one is going to have i believe partial cover so go, go ahead and roll yep oh no, no, that's not happening. I rolled a oh. nat one. <laughs> oh yeah, nope, nope, nope. You, you, you hit a table. Well, you hit the chair. Leandra is very <laughs> flustered by more hands. You, yeah, Flustered? You, um... <laughs> okay. Choice of words. I haven't gone over the possibility of doing like misfiring spells. So we're not going to do that with this right now. But yeah, no, you, you wail the chair in front of the table, and the chair. Practically explodes with frost. <laughs> is there anything else you can do? Um, is there anything else I can do? I don't. No, not really. Nothing useful, okay. anyways. So yeah. No. All right, Caro. Um, you heard your your commotion in the other room and the sound of a chair exploding. <laughs> Nah, I started to explain. You know, <laughs> just immediately, and just kind of like run over. Uh, hands. Um, right. mm. he's gonna reach into um, his side pack and pull out two hand axes and then chuck them at two different ones. <laughs> okay, go ahead and they both have cover, so you know. Uh, so go uh, ahead and roll, but keep them up. Uh, no, no, I got you. He'll, so I, I can't do the. I can do the, do, do this one and this one. Those two, okay. Yeah, straight ahead. Okay. Definitely gonna miss. And the second one, 
So the first one was a three. So even with a plus eight, I doubt that's going to hit. Mm. The second one was a natural 20. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, the first one, the axe embeds in the table. Okay. Uh, the second one, you, you managed to underhand it, flip it up, and hit uh, the tiny crawling claw squarely. I don't imagine you can do less than two HP of damage. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> oh, definitely not less than two. It's no, like so... in, in the mid-teens. <laughs> yeah, no, so that one is immediately splattered and falls to the ground from under the table. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to make you roll damage for that. There's no point. <laughs> that one is dead. <laughs> uh... And I would have Hex, but he's dead, so whatever. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I will use the rest of my movement. Uh, can I step in front of the other? Aleandra, um, yeah, if you, I'll, I'll allow you like to push to like gently push her back a little bit if she's willing to be moved. Oh yeah. Here we go. Okay. That's the squishies. That will end my turn. Right. <laughs> I was going to, hearing the ruckus out in there, she's just going to open the door. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you have that as a free action opening the door. That's fine. Oh. Isn't it movement? Open yeah, doors? yeah, more movement. Yeah, it's part of your movement. That's right. It's like one yeah, of the five to three fucks. And then he's going to move over here. And kind of similarly to Kara, is going to try and get Balog out of the way so that she doesn't hit him. Are you willing to be moved to the side, Balog? Yes, I will let her. It's a little... Like one step to the side. There's a door there, so we're gonna put you there. And it's a 53. I believe we determined last time it was a 53 degree cone. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> you have AOE. Oh, at like... the edges of her mouth as she inhales, and then... <laughs> just a hail of electricity and a cone. They all need to make deck saves or no, take... Deck saves. Cover does not affect this sort of thing, I don't imagine. <laughs> Uh, uh ooh, that is a question I don't no. know the answer to. They I'm don't. The small right amounts of cover don't typically, like Three typically, quarters. area effects like this are like. Uh, Three quarters cover. Well, these these kinds of attacks typically wrap around. Okay. Question: Do they even need to need to make yeah. deck saves? Because if you do more than two, de uh, more than like, if you do four yeah, damage, we're... even if they have the damage, they're gonna die. <laughs> Exactly. So <laughs> I need to. This is going to be from my martial arts. Mm -hmm. So is that your martial arts. Uh, yes. So as a dragon ascendant, uh, monk, I get. Oh, I also get a breath weapon. Oh, okay. This isn't your dragonborn breath weapon. This is your... dragon monk, man. <laughs> <laughs> it, it has uh, AOE, and those are very low health. Dragons, so... man. Dragon the dragon. save is going to be 13. Okay. And I need to roll. Death. Death to the undead. <laughs> Death to the undead. Death <laughs> to the skittery hands. Unalive. That's five. Ooh. So that. Oh, you know, that, that would be at least two health. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not even going to roll the next save. There's no point. Um, You. What kind of. What what element was this? Lightning. Lightning. Yeah, you send out a um you open your mouth and lightning just pours from your jaws, wrapping around the table on the other side. You all smell the putrid stench of electrically burning flesh as one after the other just they all just drop to the ground and kind of curl. I'm sorry, Nat. Curl like dead spiders. <laughs> <laughs> and that's yeah, that's that, that's it. They're 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 done. <laughs> they're gone. 
I can no pick more. up my hand axe. They're infused with lightning. Now I have lightning hand axe. No, I'm just joking. Kara has fallen over the time. Speed <laughs> runs into the room Ooh, with their sword. <laughs> there. Got it. I got it. We're good. <laughs> You're all dead. Deep runs in. Deep? Okay. Deep, yes. deep. Deep, you see a bunch of dead hands on the floor. Yep. Uh. Is everyone okay? Oh. Yeah. Thanks for lending a hand. I hate those sorts of things. They're so scared to me. I'm just gonna go and retrieve my hand axes. Okay. This way, I'm glad everyone's alright. Hey. There is an unsettling amount of hands around this village, I have to say. If there are so many hands, the question is where are the arms that they were attached to? And then the torsos. And like Wait, was, what? When I looked in the house, didn't I notice that the hands were gone for those guys? Uh, no, they had their hands. Oh, they had their hands. Oh, okay. Oh no, no, the other house. Yeah, no, they, I believe they were missing their hands. Oh yeah, the other. Oh okay, oh, that's, okay. that's all sad. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure that's the other farmers. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Well, then. Uh, oh. Make sure that these guys are still soundly unconscious after that <laughs> rusted ruckus. <laughs> I just hope the basement is not filled with hands. How many people could have lost their hands in this village to fill an entire cellar? Don't jinx it. <laughs> How many people? Too many people. <laughs> we can go out and count if you want. I leave that to you, darling. Go right ahead. No, no, I'm not that good with math. Alright, um, well left then. or right? Eh. Eh. Okay. Door. Somebody help them get up to the door handle, please. Eh. Has I'm curious as to whether or not if Deet running at full force can just break a door down. <laughs> Deet <laughs> De goes just... to the other side of the hall. Deet goes to the other oh no. <laughs> and I like... Get out of the way, get out of the way. Does 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 like that horse thing where they like paw at the ground before they charge and then you're getting gu <laughs> uh, guidance, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just while you run past, just all right. So you're you're charging the door. Give me a give me athletics. Go yeah, and you and you get guidance. Sure, strength based. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is my <laughs> Plus seven. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Plus guidance. Sure, let's overkill mm -hmm. this. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing as overkill. <laughs> that is a twenty-four total. Okay. Yeah, you have. Um, <laughs> this is not particularly. This is not a particularly strush. Thick door. Uh, <laughs> Just runs through the, uh, the wall behind it. Here's the thing. You do too well. You don't knock this thing off the hinges. You just punch a deep shaped hole through it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I want. So, oh, that's not deep. Uh, you are now in the... Oh, come here, you. You are motherfucker. Come here. You're now in the room, so let me... I'm also imagining like a Tom and Jerry style shoulder charge. You are, yeah, you are, <laughs> let me, take, give me a second, DM's gotta reveal and find the excerpt for this room. <laughs> Alright, so you pop through the door, little deep-shaped hole, uh, you find yourself in a, in a bedroom, you know, you see, uh, it's, it's a bedroom, you see what appears to probably be Kiana's bed, it's had... If you don't know in the last, you see a chest nearby, you see a bedside table, you can see a desk with just covered in papers. Uh, there's still a, there's an oil lamp still, still burning. Uh, there are curtains on the windows. It's a bedroom. 
Uh, D immediately goes for the bed and okay. starts just jumping on it. Okay. <laughs> we, we, we just did jump. Bed noise. You hear you hear jumping and just like the occasional just like cackle. <laughs> um, what is going on on there? Just open the door. All right. Do we want to open the door? It's not locked. Go ahead and. There you go. Yeah, the rest of you seem much the same. It's a bedroom. Oh. Right. It uh, seems to be in a better state than the rest of the house. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this, this room is notably not torn apart. Well, yeah, just time to rummage for personal stuff. Right. Yep. Is um, there a diary or something? Stay outside and keep looking. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna open the right, cupboard. So yeah. You're gonna open that. So you're gonna open the bedside table, and Leandra, you're going for the desk. Yep. Uh, both of you, give me investigation checks. Okie dokie. Oh. Eighteen. 18. Plus what? Did you go for one eighteen. <laughs> Plus one, so it's nineteen. Nineteen, Leandra. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, we're still start with Balog. Uh, Balog, you don't find anything nuts in the bedside table you find um usual stuff people would keep in there you you find like there's a couple it's a quill there's some random bits and bobs a bit of thread for mending clothes um a pair of gloves um a file of some kind of oil uh <laughs> leandra you walk over to the desk uh, and start rifling through the papers that are on the desk. Uh, and you notice that um, most of these papers are drawings and paintings that are all depicting repeated images. You see images of hands like reaching up, uh, lakes, wide eyes looking up through water. Uh, the largest work on the table shows a pair of eyes with handprints for pupils. They're, and they all look similar to that picture that uh, Aunt Deli showed you that she'd pulled out of that farmer's pocket. Okay. Of the boy being dragged down into the lake. Right. Well, this is just delightfully disturbing and she'll, she'll like take the papers with her and like just show them to you and Balog because they're the closest ones. Lovely child. Def- bye bye. Hmm. Indeed. If I may make any suggestions, we should not go swimming in any lakes nearby. Probably best to avoid. Then again, the lake might be a point of interest, given the uh, interest Kiana clearly has had in the place. Not sure we want to go there, but... Yeah. I'll mention, based on the imagery and the stories you've heard from the Awakening Song as we're passing through, the lake in question is likely... Scroll down. Lake... Where the fuck is it? Lake, 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 lake. Fucking damn it. That's wrong way. Wrong way. Up here. Up here. Lake, fuck you. Lake, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I'd call the lake like where's that. Where's the lake? Isn't that just called the ocean? That's, yes. Uh, where's the lake? Where's the lake? Lake. Is the ocean of soup? <laughs> yeah, it's cold. I mean, it's it's like salt, it? it would be great if I could find the damn thing again. That usually is great, yes. Yeah, you know, that'd be aha. Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Cradle lace. Aha. Uh-huh. Cradle lace lake. Cradle lace lake. That um the specific story Uh the specific story you remember being uh overhearing being that a sinkhole opened. Um, that there used to be a farmstead over where the lake was, and a sinkhole opened, sucking the farm and everyone within it inside, and that supposedly a string of disasters around said lake is 
the cause of the vengeful spirits of the family that lives there trying to drag people down with them. Yeah, that makes sense. Cully drowned in Cradle Lace. Okay. Yeah. Vengeful spirits. Oh, I <sighs> got it. Oh, shit. Okay. Kara's just outside like making sure that nothing comes up on us right now, so okay. I'll do your thing. Well, Leandra's just gonna slowly walk out of the room and okay. into the hall. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take a look under the bed just in case there's something. Yep. <laughs> Give me another investigation check. Wee. That's a four. That's a four. You don't I see, see the... Yeah, you don't really see anything under the uh bed. You look around. Yeah, no, nothing under the bed. But it's a chest in the corner. Mm -hmm. Wait, what uh, is that? Oh there is. <laughs> Did you also overlook it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was looking at it from the other side, so the wall was hiding it. <laughs> It was a sandwich between me. a wall and a door. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not great. <laughs> well, gonna... yeah, sure. Let's open. Yeah. You open the chest. Wait, can can I give myself guidance? Yes, you can. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm just gonna give myself guidance. It's a cantrip, so I always keep somebody under guidance. <laughs> yeah, as long as you have reason to and time to perform guidance and you call it, you can you can do guidance. Yes. All right, so you cast guidance. You go to I'm assuming open investigate the chest. So yep. Give me another investigation check. Yep. Plus your guidance. Yay! Yeah, 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 so fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Uh, you open the chest and. It's it's a clothes it's 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 a clothing trunk. It's full of probably Kiana's clothing. And you rifling through it to see if you could find anything and you end up pulling out a pair of overalls that you're not I've obviously you've never seen Kiana, so you have no idea what her size is, but you feel something interesting with the pockets. You pull it out to the uh to inspect and you realize that one of the Pockets is containing 13 rings of various such plain rings, wedding bands, formal jewelry, size for both men and women, made of decent materials. They're all white rings. 13 rings. Hmm. All right. Either she's been collecting from the dead farmers, or we've got a little pickpocket here. I'm gonna hang on to those, okay. uh, just in case. Uh, for book 13, purposes, 13 rings, uh, they are each worth 2d10 gold. So we will, if you sell them, we will determine how much you get later. Yep. Just note down that they are were each worth, each, that. Just note <laughs> down that they are each worth 2d10 gold. Watch up. They... Ah, this is an inventory. Deet's gonna do a sweet front flip off the bed and charge the other door across the hall. Alright, acrobatics, oh acrobatics to front flip, athletics to charge the door. Oh, God. Uh, oh my acrobatics is not great. Mm -hmm. Athletics, yes, but I'm not very graceful. <laughs> I mean, it would be, it's kind of hard to be acrobatic when you're a potato. <laughs> Hey, I am an awesome potato, though, so... Yes. That's a, that's a five for acrobatics. Okay! You... <laughs> and then... Right, give me the athletics. One. That's a 18 for the athletics. Okay. Um, you attempt the backflip off the bed. Uh, instead, you sort of... Front flip. <laughs> or, yeah, the front flip off the bed. Um... You don't really make the rotation, <laughs> kind of la and, and land on your butt, but then kind of bounce up and run at the door anyway. 
Uh, you don't punch a hole through this one, but you do break the hinges. <laughs> Excellent. So, that touched we'll okay, goes. We'll say... Goes. Oops, sorry, I grabbed you at the same time. <laughs> so and off it goes. Reveal, <laughs> talk about the living. All right. So this room is what is okay. You bolt your way in to a living area of some type. Uh, furniture in this room is haphazardly arranged and looks close to falling apart. Uh, beneath the floor, it's covered in a hundreds of handprints. So like under, so you can see like on the wooden floor itself to see all these these handprints going all over the floor. Uh, and the furniture itself doesn't look, like it's not like it's been beaten to death and that's why it's about, it's like old, old furniture. Mm. Yeah, Diet's completely oblivious to those kind of cues and immediately starts jumping on the couch. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Uh, also worth noting, the handprints look, don't, they look like they're in the similar style to the paintings in Kiana's room, weirdly. Not like the, not like Fair Farm, like they were painted there, not that they were pressed there. Hmm. Hmm. Certainly something about the hands over here, isn't there? Yep. Um. Out of curiosity, Yua is going to pick up the rug and pull it out of the way. <laughs> okay. Um, you can give me a perception check. No, she's like, just like yeah, completely yeah. moving the rug out of the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, no. Same. Okay. Oh, that's a... Uh... 19 plus uh, perception. So 22. 22. Okay, so you pick up the rug and you move it, and you don't notice anything under the rug itself. Uh, but removing the rug uh, has, you know, revealed more of the floor, more of the handprints, and you do notice a break in the pattern under a nearby chair. Hmm. Move the chair. Move the chair. Um, you see a another muddy painting, uh, like painted in mud, uh, the picture specifically of two children. Uh, one is reaching for the other who's being dragged into the water by large hands. You see scrapes, uh, in the muddy image forming the name Tully. That's weird. Another lodge. So many hands. Lots of hands. A lot of hands. A lot of hands. I don't like the hands. <laughs> Is the couch broken yet? Me neither. Oh, good point. Um. Oh, wait, where did I go? Wait. You're on the Hold couch. On. Okay, there we go. It, yeah, I got it. Fix it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let me see. Let's see if this couch breaks. <laughs> 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 Indeed, uh, might be tiny. Amazingly, jumping with force. Amazingly, the couch is still intact. <laughs> Hands. 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 Right, Hands. We've got a bunch of hands, a bunch of dead farmers. Mm. Possessed uh, farmers. Mm-hmm. And this incident mm. with Kiana's friend does seem to somehow play a part in this handy little whatnot. Mm -hmm. And supposedly they're alive, sort of? I, I don't understand. <gasps> No, your guess is as good as mine there, darling. Well, I'm guessing we're gonna find something in the basement, and I'm not sure if we want to want shut down. Oh, no. I mean, of course we do, but, you know. <sighs> I 
Amberly. Yes. I just linked something for you. Hero Forge. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, <laughs> ah, yes, you did. Look at that. <laughs> the process right. really quick. It's only been like a minute. All right, here we go. Hang on. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you decided you wanted a token. <laughs> I like her. I'll probably use them again in the future. Ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> there are two of them. This what? is getting off hand. <laughs> oh, 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 look at that. All right, you should have control. Zip. Thank you. That looks much nicer now, doesn't it? Does. Also, he's huge. <laughs> also, Spontaneously has a glow up. He, he, <laughs> <laughs> he's like it. Look at that guy. That's that's the one that Leander's been kind of fawning over this whole time. That's a lot. <laughs> it's like, oh, I see. <laughs> okay. So where are you going now? Living room? In the bedroom? Seem all nice? Dining room and kitchen are destroyed? We haven't found anyone. Start going down to the cellar? Yeah, most likely. Okay. Yeah. You know, you're check on the farmers. They're still unconscious and tied up. They are still unconscious. They appear to still be tied up. Dean, are you stuck on the couch? No, I'm just... Ow. Okay. Tight space. Down into the cellar. Only good things happen in the cellar. <laughs> Only good mm. things happen in the cellar. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. What are the trying to skirt mm. past the now conscious uh dudes on the floor? Yeah. Peter, I think you're the thirty um, one to one so my god. What gosh. are the chances this that is so trap? Much. <laughs> um, that is so many I months. I think we need to Can teleport. Oh I check it for Thank you. anything, traps or yeah, anything like that. Yeah. Like yeah, you get the... we all cram ourselves in here. I'll probably have to teleport you down anyway, so that's that's fine. <laughs> uh, investigation. God, it's so nice having this symbiote. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, it's so nice. <laughs> oh, good. That's a negative one investigation. Ooh. So that's a thirteen. Does not appear to be trapped. Appears to be unlocked. Okay. I'm just gonna open it <laughs> all right you open the cellar and you see a ladder going down to the cellar that is positioned in not not for an amazing way i just noticed but that's fine <laughs> i'll look down and see if i can catch a glimpse of anything uh you do not see anything from your vantage point you don't really see much of anything you see a floor mm -hmm. you can see like the edges of some shelves how has it almost been three okay. years? I don't know. Go oh my gosh. I was moving okay. so fast. So you can't drop yourselves down. That works. Okay, cool. My gosh. Yeah, I just teleported myself. So. Okay, teleported down. That's fine. Uh, so are you waiting for anyone else to come down or are you going to take a look? Uh, I'm going to look around. Okay. Uh, if so... there's no danger, I'll, I'll be like, I, no danger that I can see. Hold on. I need, I need things. I require things. Uh, okay. So you come down and it's a storeroom. You see uh, baskets of potatoes, jars of fruit preserves, um, jars of probably pickled vegetables of some description, uh, all that sort of thing. You, What you notice that's weird is there is a collapsed <laughs> section of the wall in which you see a small, a narrow uh, passage. Yeah, narrow tunnel. Uh, you also smell. Oh, you were, you were smelling rot and everything above. It smells even worse down here. And Caro, mm -hmm. you hear the very faint sound of a woman singing from the tunnel. Concern. I can 
more harshly, he'll he'll use message so he doesn't have to speak loudly. <laughs> like there's I can hear somebody um, down. Mm. There's a hole in the wall. Mm. The smell. There is a hole. There's a hole in the wall. Is everyone down here? Mm-hmm. I think everyone's here, yeah. Uh, okay, there's Deep. Uh, I was like, I couldn't see Deep. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I can't see Deep. I saw Deep. They were very the colorful. Child. Oh god, we lost the child! <laughs> That's because you can't see them. That's not... not there. <laughs> uh, it's gonna... put the longbow away and hold out the... axes until we get to a more open space and... I'll, I'll, I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah, we need somebody smaller to go. <laughs> it's it's the roots. The roots make the roots. Uh, hitbox the roots. is weird. They do, but they look they they were the best I could get from cavern. Oh no, they look good though. <laughs> good use of roots. Of cavern. <laughs> oh wait, here's a good question. What's the light like in here? I know there was the one lantern, uh, but <laughs> there's some there's some lanterns sprinkled throughout. Some. Oh, Some. that's a good. Okay, point. so there's like what low light here? It's, yeah, it's it's low light. It's not bright, but it's okay. not you're not blind. Okay. Why don't I see Deet? Deet's right there. I don't know why I don't see Deet. Where why is don't, there? Why don't there, I see you? Deet's right there. Oh, Deet's right there. You, right you two might need to back out and come back in. You might have a uh-huh. visual glitch on y'all's end. Me and Steen D Beyond's gonna fucking glitch. All right, hold on. Stupid. <laughs> Spire. Where's, where's, I don't see them. Like, I don't know what to tell you. We all see them. It's on your end. <laughs> this dungeon's not the same without. <laughs> We're about Pause. To see. Pause. Pause for dramatic effect. Wait. Wait. I need Wait. to be summoned. You need to be summoned. Summon I me? Summoned. Who summoned thee? <laughs> Yee! Okay. Okay, wait. Wait, why can't I grab me? I can't. There I am. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> All right. So. Okay. Are we good? I'm just like wrapped around your lower leg. <laughs> You're being... Carol's full name. <laughs> uh, does it. Does it sound like the singing is getting louder it as we go through? It does. Uh, the further you go into the cavern, the more you can make out the song. In fact, as you're walking, you realize it is part of the awakening song you heard in the festival. Specifically, it's the section telling the story of a young man named Kali. But mm-hmm. rather than its usual content, where in which the boy dies a tragic, horrifying death by drowning in a lake, uh, the song has been rewritten, but it's not professionally, sloppily done. And it's been rewritten to feature Cully being saved by his closest friend. Mm. Hmm. You're getting guidance, big guy. <laughs> You're oh, getting okay. guidance. <laughs> guidance yep. is the big man. <laughs> yep. He's up front. He's gonna need it. Oh. Um. There's somebody on the floor there. Uh, Dead or alive? I can't tell from here. Um, oh. can see that it opens up. Right, I will point out he's using message continuously from now, so he doesn't have to speak loudly. <laughs> uh, there's it opens up. Um, is that person in front of me? Are they just laying down? Or they? They look like they're alive at all? I mean, um, I'll, I'll give this to you. No. <laughs> no, they're very dead. They're very dead. They're very dead, and their hands are missing. Mm. Yeah, I would hope to be dead if my hands were missing like that. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm not, that's. I'm not gonna yeah. walk around the corner, but he's gonna like back saying, against I'm the wall. Their arms are missing. <laughs> oh, whole oh. arms are missing there. Whole arms. Whole arms are missing. Hmm. You fought hands before, now get ready for arms. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Uh, They're out to the teeth. <laughs> Carol's gonna kind of like crouch down a little bit, a shoulder against the wall, and try to peek around the corner without okay. exposing too much of himself. Uh, give me a stealth check. Yes, stealth with guidance. Keep guidance. Uh, speaking of, uh, if the rest of you are trying to be uh, stealthy, please give me stealth checks as well. Yep. Stealth with stealth for you. Okay. Wow, good stealth tool. Sorry, I'm trying to get my character sheet back. Yeah, uh, I have disadvantage at stealth. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. <sighs> Seven. 11. Mm hmm. Um, hold on, give me a minute. <laughs> we are the stealth. Hera would have aced this, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> if I played the bot, I'd have a one. <laughs> If I play well the play, for Deet. Well for Deet. Okay. I am the stealth. You are the stealth. So you poke your head ever so slightly around the corner, just enough to see. Um, and what you see is that the tunnel opens up into this lantern-lit, packed dirt. So it's it's brighter within this tunnel than it, in within this chamber than it is in the tunnel you're currently in. Mm -hmm. Um where the cause of the stench becomes very apparent, as there's not just the one body that you see, see before you. There's a dozen. I only have a few sooner up, but there's there's easily a dozen bodies lying strewn across the floor. They're all wearing the clothes of farmers, and they have limbs missing. Just cleanly removed, and all piled up at the far side of the cavern. In the center of the room, you see a young woman sat on the ground and singing. Mm -hmm. Relay that to everyone else with some message. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we were described her. This, this looks like the girl we're looking for, right? <laughs> uh, this looks like you see a dark skinned woman you, with wearing a red bandana over her head. She's got a you know, loose-fitting blouse, loose-fitting pants. Um, you can see some like dreadlocks poking out from underneath the banana. It certainly seems to fit the description of the woman you're looking for. And I'm gonna go ahead and hand you out a handout. Ooh, handout. This is the one person I didn't make a token for. <laughs> I just had to use the default token. The most important. I'm just <laughs> advertisements go away. Oh, okay. They have yeah. a knife. She's got like jeans. I like something. this character. Good character mm. design. Very some good denim jeans. Nice yeah, patchwork on the knees. Yeah. Um, I don't really know what to do. <laughs> uh, There's just a woman gonna... singing, surrounded by dead bodies, with a pile of hands in the back. I'm gonna move out the by the body here. here. To give oh, yeah. everybody some more space. Uh, and and Stephen, for your the pile of arms and limbs and whatever is over here. Got it. This is a pile of death. There's, there's, <laughs> a, pile of, there's a pile of dead arms over there. Spare parts. Spare parts. Got you. Uh, you, I, you know, message to you. I don't really know how to approach this, but there's bodies everywhere and a pile of bits. And a girl singing okay. in the middle. <laughs> I make room for everybody to move through. <laughs> uh, I guess mm -hmm. just be with you in case uh, things try to kill us. And you is going to uh, oh, shit. Well, wait for the Andra and Baylock to move forward. Okay. Uh, I'll, point out, I'll put my axes away and bring out the bow as a stand in the back. I will say as Baylog walks around since yeah, you, you rolled lower than a 10, right? I rolled yep, exactly one bit lower than 10. Okay. As soon as yeah, as soon as anyone who rolls lower than a 10 comes around that corner uh, the woman sort of pause, stop singing kind of looks at you and she's moving in this weird kind of slow like it almost reminds you of the possessed farmer's but even from here, you can tell her eyes aren't red. Uh, please go. You shouldn't. You shouldn't be here. What are you doing down here? 
Hey, Amber. Sorry for the adoption. Can I, yes? Can you summon me back in? I keep disconnecting. Oh, no. Thank you. Sorry, continue. Good. Yeah, let's just please go. You shouldn't be here. Um, um, <laughs> happen to be Kiana, would you? There's... Yeah, that's 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 me. But you should no, you should stay and come and come come join us. That would be no. You should go. You seem to be very indecisive. There's someone who's very worried about you. Oh. What Ooh. exactly are you doing down here? I'm... Me? Uh... I... I'm... I'm down here... I'm with Kali. Kali? Yeah. Yeah, you should you should come play with us. You should don't do that. You need to leave. You need to leave right now. Mm. Right. Take another look around the room to see if there's any other influences or movement or anything like that that's just even more out of the ordinary than already is. Yeah, the yeah, Andrews. Me perception. Okay, the good start. What's my additive though? That's five. Okay, so that's a twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay. Uh, you don't see anything like around the area that seems more out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary than you've already noticed. Like. Okay. There's a pile of limbs, and there's dead bodies, and there's a possessed woman, maybe. <laughs> it's hard to say what's happening with her. Right, um... Maybe... Maybe you should come with us, then? Oh. We could play outside. No. No, I shouldn't. I can't, I can't go. I can't leave him. That's, I just found him. I can't, I can't leave. I need to stay. You should stay. Well, why don't you just bring him along? Uh... I'm going to send another message to Leandri and then you afterwards, but we should spread out a little bit We're too tight. Lear just nods in response to that. Um, he's he can't he can't get out the hole. He can't get out. You should get out. Where is he? He's. He's, he's he's sleeping. He just ate. He's he's taking a nap. The song helps keep him helps him nap, but I'm really tired. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Looks over at everyone else. <laughs> well, while he's napping, he's not going to know if, if you're gone for a second. You could join us upstairs and then you could come down here again later. Hmm? Oh, roll a persuasion check for me. Let's see. Persuasion. Oh, plus zero. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. Very good. That's a three. Oh. No, no, I need to stay here. Kali gets very upset if I leave. Because, well, we're just such good friends, you know? 
We don't we don't like being separated. Of course. I completely understand that. <sighs> she sort of she sort of as she says that she sort of looks back at the other end of the cavern. Um Leander's gonna follow that look. <laughs> uh insight check for me. Okay. Let's see, that's 13 plus 6, 19. 19? So, you follow you follow her eyes, and this is on your, your past perception, you can see this, because you point out, you see, she just looks back towards the pile of limbs. But, you're starting to realize that every time she talks about Kali, specifically in a positive way, she keeps looking back at the pile of limbs. Oh. Almost like what a fear reaction, maybe. Maybe. Fear? maybe. I, I would. I wouldn't know. I'm not that insightful. Yeah. <laughs> this is player going. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 hard to say. It's sometimes it seems like it might be a fear thing. Other times it's like she just keeps looking back. It's hard to say. She doesn't seem afraid. She doesn't seem, she was like, when she's looking back, she doesn't seem afraid. She seems more afraid when she's telling you to leave. Mm -hmm. Is there, like... Leander's gonna try to, like, study the pile of limbs and see if there's anything that's odd about it, except for the fact that it's a pile of limbs. You'll definitely have to get closer to it. <laughs> okay. Well... Okay. Careful. So, so the pile of limbs again is over here. Yep. Yeah, I'll I'll leave a little thing. There you go. So, you said he just ate. What exactly does he eat? Out of curiosity. Meat. Meat. You know, most like a lot of folks. Hmm. Does he have a? Favorite meat? He... Does he have a favorite? This... You need to go. You need to run. You need to leave. Oh, I think of our part on this part. We can leave if you come with us. Roll another, roll another persu per persuasion. That's my forte. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna be bad. I'm not even gonna say that. Hold on. Persuasion. You might not 20, you never know. <laughs> no. It's a 12. I have a negative one. <laughs> okay. She sort of cocks her head. Why would I leave? Oh you know. Everyone goes out to, out of the house every now and then. Interesting passing. Okay, I'm um, keeping an eye on. Yeah, you're, you're, she's you're, like you're, all the way across. You're up to the. You're up to the at this point. If you wanted to investigate it. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Scaring the shit out of him right now. <laughs> Squishy <laughs> little fuck. Ah, sugar. It's not even gonna be worth it. That's an eight. <laughs> That's an eight. You. You start investigating the look. Do you do you touch it all, or are you just like getting your face all like looking at it? Oh. Hmm, would Leandra... I could see Leandra... Okay, yeah, I could see Leandra, like, reaching out to, like, just... You know how when you're touching something gross, you're just kind of barely touching it with mm -hmm. two fingers? Like, she'd, she'd, like, pick at maybe a finger or, like, a hand or something like that and just okay. kind of, like, have a look. <laughs> okay. So you... You, you you get close to the thing to like look at it and you reach out to, to touch one of the the limp hands, limp arms laying. The second you touch this thing, <laughs> one of the hands grabs yours, grabs your arm. And the entire pile 
you realize all at once, it's not a pile of limbs. Mm. It is a monstrosity made of limbs as this thing starts to lift itself up off of the floor. You cannot tell which way is up. It's lifting itself up onto hands. There are more hands coming out of everything. They, you can't tell what's up and what's down, what's left, what's right <laughs> of, of this thing. It is a ball of arms. And as it is coming up, and I'm gonna just reveal a token, the token I'm using. This is obviously not what it looks like, but that's the best I could find. <laughs> <laughs> I still hate it. <laughs> yeah, uh, you hear... Especially when you know what that thing actually is supposed to be. You hear in your head the, sa the voice of a young boy. Come play with us. Are you lonely? You could be friends with us forever. And I need you all to roll initiative. Yeah, got some. <laughs> Please, once roll good. <laughs> Oh god. oh god! Oh god! The dice oh, is just... your last, your last handout. Ah, seven. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. That's what the monster looks like. I just sent you all a little handout. And each. Oh great! Do, do, That's do, do, nice. Do. No. <laughs> no. Mm. <laughs> no. Oh, it's it's just a ball of hands. It's a ball of hands. <laughs> <laughs> this is some special universe crack this thing. This is stuff. uh, this is getting out of hand. Oof! <laughs> it's Didn't know we're playing the photos. Bottom. Bottom. <laughs> hmm. It loves to make me have to verify that I'm a person again. Every time you back in and out, and then it's just, and then half the time, if you actually get it back in, then you have to log into your account again, which is really awkward to do I on ha stream. <laughs> I have to log in again, which is good. Um, no, <laughs> no, uh, okay. Initiative uh, goes off of what dexterity, okay? Let's do it. So, boop. Boop. Okay. Boop. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll put you in there. Boop. Boop. No, you don't. You don't. It's fine. Uh, you're still back here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then this guy. You got... All right. You good to pass it up. I have all to right, do it. All right. So 25 to 20. No one? All right. No, no. no. <laughs> 20 to 15. 18. 18. Uh, 15 to 10. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, Actually, economy is not going to be on our side this time. 10 to 5. Nine. 7. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Uh, you. Nine, okay. eight, seven. Great. Nine. Baylock had eight. Nope. B. No, Deed had, Deed had eight. Okay. Deed. Uh, and Leandro, I'm guessing you're, you're blown eight. <laughs> yep. Steven, what are you Four. doing? Four. Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right. Here we go. You up. Not you up. Why did it start with you <laughs> Excuse me. It skipped. It decided to skip. There. Carl. <laughs> Just decided to skip you. Wow. Nope. Okay, I... Oh, I don't like this thing, and... Mm. <laughs> no! No, you do oh, not! Oh, I don't. Uh, <laughs> the moment you touch it, this thing just starts... I'm assuming it's trying to, like, grab at her uh, at the moment? Yes. I don't know. Okay, yes. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. And I would like to know Hunter's lore. <laughs> Hunter's lore, okay. So, how does that work again? So, so I get anything that I have marked, I can get information from it. I get okay. to know if they have any condition immunities, damage resistances, and or vulnerabilities. Oh, I was so or, hoping or, you were... or, or. That's right, I was so hoping you are going to do this to this. Um, I'm going to read it out, but I'm also just going to... Uh, 
So you get the resistances, immunities, and conditioning and such. Condition immunities, any resistances, and any vulnerabilities. Okay, so you know it is resistant to necrotic damage. You know it is immune to poison damage. You know it is immune to the charmed, exhausted, frightened, grappled, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, prone, and restrained condition uh, conditions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Could we get that on the list? I am about to post it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Immune to most conditions. Great. Okay. Gotcha. So, here you this is what here. Hand out but is it immune to stun? <laughs> no. No, it can be stunned. Nope. It can be too bad stunned. Too bad I can't But I cannot it. frighten it with my turn undead. <laughs> no, you cannot frighten it. <laughs> you cannot frighten it. Woo. Woo. That's, a, that's a lot of immunities. <laughs> uh, the second you pulled out that the hunter's lore, I was like, oh, please use this on this thing. <laughs> yeah, you knew that was going to happen. <laughs> 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 I'm in danger. <laughs> no, Leandra's oh, in danger. Actually, I'm in danger. Uh, I, I, he's gonna take a shot. He's gonna use his action and shoot okay. at it. But right. he, as he's shooting, it'll be like, very. <laughs> he doesn't want to yell, but Bad. it's very dangerous. And he, 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 I'm not gonna be able to tell you the whole thing, but at the very least, he will say, D -d 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 "Don't use poison or necrotic." Abilities. Uh... <laughs> Draw back. I don't know. Draw back bow, and I have a plus nine because it's a plus one right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that might not hit. That's a fourteen. It hits. It hits. Oh no. It hits. Low low age. It... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> I know what that means. <laughs> Oh, that is oh, I didn't... extremely cocked. Like Roll that again. Oh, okay, there we go. Low it AC didn't... means high it HP. It didn't uh, the thing. How does Savage Attacker work again? Does it take the hit the weapon, or the diet spice, and you can use either roll? Okay, cool. Uh, so I will math this, and then I will use Savage Attacker to see okay. if I can get a higher roll. Damn. Okay, so that's a plus five. So it's 10. It's 13 on the first roll, and then the second try... Oh, you're hitting twice. Um, five, no, I'm not hitting twice. I have Savage Attacker, so I can roll the damage twice and choose the, whichever oh, one. Oh, okay. Uh, and I will take the second one because that's a 15 instead of a 13. 15 damage. Okay. All piercing. I don't have my phone. <laughs> Calculator. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's going to be... Does my met does because of the the plus one? It's a magic weapon too. So yeah. Yeah, I mean it's not immune to. Med. No, but it's just in case. <laughs> hey, so yeah. All right. Is that anything else? Uh, that's all I can do for now. All right. I'm gonna stay back here. Keep an eye on everyone. You uh. It's your turn. Yua is going to run up mm -hmm. behind Leandra. Mm -hmm. Pick them up. Okay. The fuck out! <laughs> it, has, uh, it hasn't officially grappled uh, Leandra yet. Yeah. Don't weaponize yeah. the wizard, please. Um, ye yeet the wizard. So here's my here's my question. It takes an action to pick up Leandra, right? Yes. Yeah. So then, you is going to take at least a few steps back, holding Leandra. Holding Leandra and then set her down behind you. How do op attacks work? Do op if you know, only if you willingly move. If somebody moves yeah. you, it doesn't give you an op okay. attack. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> That's useful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Forced movement. That's yeah. Very powerful. Forced movement does not provoke opportunity. With some exceptions, with like certain spells and things like that. That was a total of... <laughs> here. All right. Here. So that's 20 feet to do that. Oh. 
Also, Could the you... creature's movement speed is reduced by 10 because it hit. Okay. okay. Yep. Let me mark that. Well, I remember those weapon move... masteries. Amberly, could you move Leandra? Oh, sorry. There we there go. go. And move her behind me. That's where you would set her down. Okay. <laughs> go, little one. <laughs> go, little one. <laughs> I've used 20 movement. I've used my action. <clears throat> Leandra is profusely thankful to be away from the army thing. And she will step forward a little bit and just be ready with mm -hmm. daggers drawn. Okay. That's it? That's it. Okay, I'm going to have to decide who this thing's going for. It's got two targets in front of it right now. Oh boy. Uh, give me D4. D4. Give me D4. D4. Oh, I regret walking so what so what far forward. Three four. <laughs> yeah, you already do, cause Bela, cause it's um the yeah, Soul great. Shaker starts scrabbling forward on its hands and <gasps> reaching out towards you. Oh, oh great. It's with its, these massive arms attempting to grab and squish you. Uh, I'm assuming a dirty 21 is gonna hit. <laughs> yes. Okay, so you are going to take some damage and this thing is an auto grapple. It's an auto grapple, great. And it's a, yeah, it, if it hits, it grapples. You are gonna take 13 damage. Bludgeoning damage as this thing grabs and bashes into you, then grabs you with its with its odd uh, absurd amount of hands. And then I need you to make a constitution save. Okay. This this has got shit it can do. That's a twelve. That's a 12. It's not sufficient. <laughs> this thing's grip. Uh, everyone else can see this. Uh, you start seeing some of the hands glow as energy starts being drawn from Baylog into the Soul Shaker. Baylog, you're going to take another six necrotic damage. And your max HP is reduced by that six. Oh, great. How do I actually... Oh, there, max HP modifier. Yep. Just remember what your normal max is. Yeah, it does show. I can, can okay. add this modifier. And the Soul Shaker looks a little bit better than it did a second ago. Hmm. That's all it can do on its turn. It has it has Baylog grappled. Deet. Of course it does. Deet. <laughs> oh, Deet's Deet. mad. <laughs> mad. Deet's very mad, and Deet's going to rage. <laughs> oh, there we go. First barbarian <laughs> rage. There it is. No, it is. It's my second. second. I raged with the. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. raged at the coyotes. <laughs> yep. So yeah, bonus action. <laughs> And is gonna fucking go at this thing. Just headstrong, great sword, cleaving okay. at it. <laughs> okay. Uh. That doesn't specify that you would injure Baylog. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I has a right, muffin. You have a muffin. <laughs> All right, go ahead and roll your attack for me. Okay. Now if I. I was not doing this last time. Apparently, I get a plus mm. two to melee damage. So yes, that's I gotta to be fair. That. Yua was doing the wrong die, so your rage yeah. just went to the fact that you you just gave your rage to Yua. Uh, wild so, search. Do wild I do? Search? You can do a wild search. Because it, it right goes. Try. Um, I'll roll it this time. Okay. Uh, 
That is a two. That's a what two. is a two? Oh, wow. What does a two do? Uh, you teleport up to 30 feet in an unoccupied space you can see until your rage ends. You can use this effect again on each of your turns as a bonus action. So you can tell. So rather, rather than charge, uh, Deet just kind of like blinks, blinks <laughs> into blinks. existence in front of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then to hit. Oh no, buddy! Oh yes. that's a ten. Oh no! <laughs> this thing, you go to swing no. at one of the uh, one of the arms supporting it, right as it picks up that arm to take another step forward. So you swing right where that arm used to be. Uh, I can't do anything else. So I guess that's my turn. Okay, Baylog, you're grappling. Uh. How does escaping grabs work in under the current rules? Well, so this works a bit differently because it's a specific ability. Um, okay. Either way to escape a grapple, it is either athletics or acrobatics. Your choice. If you, as long as you meet the DC, you will escape. Well, athletics is better for me. <laughs> All right. Is that an action or what? Um, escaping a grapple, I believe, is an action. I mean, because it's a, a special thing. Well, uh, it's just a special thing in that it auto grappled you as opposed to like setting a DC that you initially fought. Okay, 14. 14. Uh, I'm just trying to see if it is an action. Here we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, pop up. Actually, I can guidance myself before that, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Uh, uh, grappled, a gra uh, escaping a grapple does count as an action. What, did, what was the other question? I, oh, wait. No, I can't guidance myself before that then. Okay. Nope. Yeah, because that would require Is it a 14? Action. Yep. That is insufficient. It still has you grappled. Uh, I can use bonus action and the other stuff, right? Yes, you can use bonus actions. Uh, you just, you cannot move. Your speed is currently zero. Well, I mean, if it hits me again the next turn, I'm going to be down, so I better use actually something healing. Yeah, sure, one healing word on myself. Okay. Otherwise, I'm... What is happening with these dice? <laughs> <laughs> what is happening with these dice? You're just going. You're running. That's, that's five health points. That's my turn. Okay. Leandra, a big, the, the big ball of hands has Balog and is sucking the life out of him. Yeah, that's a bit unnerving. Um, Leandra is going to cast Magic Missile at second level. Uh, <laughs> and Ooh, nice. aim it at the arm that is holding Balog, hoping to, like, okay. do something. Hoping to do something, okay. So let's see, that is, what was it? That's four, D4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to throw them in Hellspire because I only have the one. Eleven, okay. So you do eleven four plus damage four. to Eleven plus four. Uh, oh, yes. 15, 15 yes. force damage. Force damage. So that's... So I believe that is all I can... That's all? Uh, and roll me an Arcana, just real quick. I just want to see if you... Arcana. Okay. How exactly? Ow. They're gripped around him and there's magic going between the arms and Balog. <laughs> <laughs> Get your um, mind out of the gutter. <laughs> yeah. The twelve. Twelve. Um. We'll. 
you think you might have done a little something to help. Well, connect it again. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, you're back. I think. You you yeah, you get the sense that the hold is a little bit weaker. Okay, that's that's nice. It's nice, yeah. It's for Carl. <laughs> Currently muted. <laughs> he would. Thank you. He would. He's worried. He would for definitely attempt to like free uh, Vilog, but I'm pretty sure there's just hands all over them, just holding on to him. So. Yeah. There's. 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 Vilog is covered in hands. <laughs> yeah. So. It's just. Uh, okay. I'm going to shoot it again. <laughs> shoot it again. All right, you were in jail. Let's see if you do any good. Yeah. <laughs> you were in jail. <laughs> There's a reason you were in jail. Putting back in the thing. Well, Let's see you're if you can get an early release on good behavior. <laughs> Even with a plus nine, it is a twelve. Oh, no. oh. yeah, no. no, no. You you go. You just miss it. <laughs> Similar to Baylog, you were gonna hit where an arm was, and the arm moved. That was deep. <sighs> You gotta aim center of mass, you know that car. Yeah, except where's the center of this mass, question mark? <laughs> yeah, it's gonna ride and pile Where it has ten armpits. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really small point, right in the middle. Uh, well, I don't have any bonus actions that would be very helpful for right now, so I'm just going to... Uh, I guess I'll just kind of step in the room a little bit more, <laughs> but I don't really need to. <laughs> I'm just gonna close the distance, just just a little bit. Just in case this thing starts like rampaging and I have to bring out the axes, I'll, I'll just be like, yeah, I'm here. All That's right. all I got. I can't do anything else. <laughs> Yua, seeing deep move in, is going to try and surge past this thing. Okay. And flank it. Okay. And with her two daggers and her martial arts, mm -hmm. she's going to attack this thing behind, from behind. Mm -hmm. For a 20, no, 19 to hit on the yeah, first dagger. That does hit. A 24 on the second dagger. That hits. And a fiery kick. Okay. As fire bursts along one of her to along her toes, and <laughs> toe. she lashes out with a roundhouse kick. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong die. So yeah, you managed to where the others have been missing arms. Ooh, natural 20 on the kick. All right, you managed to stick one of the arms, stick another arm and get it with a fiery kick right into the center armpit. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Roll, roll me that damage. <laughs> so the knives are going to deal seven points of piercing damage. All together? All together. And All together. then the kick... Hold on. Okay. is going to be 10 points of fire damage. 10 points of fire damage, okay. There's a five and one. All right. Anything else? And that's her movement action and bonus action, All so right. she is good. It's the Soul Shaker's turn, and it's scree- it, it, it can't screech, obviously, it has no mouth, but you can see, like, the thing- the figures that aren't holding Balog in place are, like, coil and- and rage, and you start hearing noises up above, like, through the floor, like, something trying to move about. Mm. Um, but so far... So far, nothing but the shuffling and the attempted moving. 
Um... Locks are holding. <laughs> Good work, team. <laughs> Good work, team. Uh, the Soul Shaker. Uh, let's see. Who's it gonna go for? Deet or you? It's gonna go for you. Uh, it's going to one hand, one of the arms, because again, it doesn't need to turn around to hit you. It's made of fucking arms. Swings out at you. Mm-hmm. Down, damn, for a fucking natural one, that's a fucking eight. I don't imagine oh, that yeah. hits you. Just flips right over it. No, yeah, <laughs> you, you do a sick backflip to avoid uh, to avoid that hand. <laughs> However, it I do need Balak to make another con save. Oof, da. please. Get Balak out of there. Sixteen. Fifty two. Sixteen. Uh. Yeah, you. That's for you. That is sufficient. No you good, because otherwise I'd be dead. You managed to resist uh, the. Yeah, you managed to resist the 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 pull of energy. D. Okay. Um. D is going to scream very loudly. D is going to scream as a bonus oh! action. You're. Uh, or would that cancel you, you, rage? No, you technically your rage already dropped because you did not do or take any damage i have to do damage i thought i just have to attack i believe you do have to do damage isn't it your rage ends early if you're knocked unconscious or if your turn ends and you haven't attacked a hostile creature okay, since you your last attack. turn okay. okay yeah okay attacking okay um so yeah i'll do the draconic cry for bonus action uh Everybody has uh, advantage on attack rolls until the end of my next turn. Mm -hmm. And sense. then, oh, you're good. yeah, uh, and then Dee's just going to try and hack at this thing again. All right. Give me that roll. I'm assuming advantage because he was flanking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. My dice tried to run away. Huh. Okay, uh, I rolled two 18s. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, I mean, that hits, yes, correct. Excellent, all right, so that is a 2d6. Plus... 6, 5. Well, 7, because I get an extra bonus oh, yeah. damage from the rage. So... Yes. That is an 8 plus 7, 15. Okay. Slash and damage. All right. That's it. And I'm assuming you are not moving? Uh, no. No. All right. Baylock. I'm guessing I'm still grappled. You are still grappled. Yes. Well, time to escape again. All right. <laughs> That's 20. There you go, Baylock. You managed to, you managed to get your, your weapon in between some of the arms and prize <clears throat> yourself free. All right. You can move, um, you can bonus action. If I walk away, that does not... Does that do a bo yeah, um, opportunity attack? That would prompt an up attack, yes. So it would try to... Oh, great. Again. Huh. And then I immediately get grappled again. If it hits you. It might not hit you. I did roll an out one last time. <laughs> yeah, but that's not going to happen every time. We're not that lucky. Could be. You don't know. Actually, I can make use my channel divinity, which is a special, to get one, one spell slot back spell slot. to use another healing uh, healing word on me. Uh, bonus. I think channel divinity technically. It's it's the final special. Special. Yes, but the, to do it to activate it, it would be either a bonus action or an action action usually. Action. Let me see. Bonus action. Uh, let us uh, see. Let's, let us let us see. Yes, I can actually does bonus action. Bonus action, yeah. So that would be a bonus action. You can do it next turn. <laughs> I can do it next turn, but I have something. You technically can do it this turn, but I didn't have a spell slot for next turn. But you know. <laughs> yeah, but I barely have anything. Hmm. I'm just gonna. Uh, 
I'm just gonna cast Toll the Dead on it. Okay. It's necrotic yeah. damage, but yeah. That's bonus action spell? Yes. I think. Does it? No, Toll the Dead's an action. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I have no bonus action. actions. I just does, don't have bonus actions. I mean, you can use your healing word. <laughs> healing word? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll just. I don't have any spells left, that's it. Yeah, uh, I'll use, I'll just use the, I'm just gonna use the channel to win to get oh, yeah. one back and I'm done. Get one back, <laughs> alright? Are you gonna stay there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> if I walk away, it gets a guaranteed attack. If I just wait, it might attack somebody else. <laughs> 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 you can only hope. <laughs> Alright, Leandra? Leandra is going to follow up the magic missile with a magic missile of a lower level. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to magic missile it to death! <laughs> magic missile! Uh, magic so missile. that I is... I like magic missiles, so I put magic <laughs> missile in your magic missile. Three of them this time. Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Uh, so plus three, so eleven. Plus three. Eleven. Yep. Uh, eleven damage. Still good on blockable. Mm. And that all is right, all she it? can do. All right. Car up. Oh, no. what's what's old girl here doing? Um, she's just she's been vibing. She's she's just kind of confused and like, oh my god, what's happening? It's just kind of frozen in place. Okay, he's gonna move a little bit more forward in case he needs to start using his axes again. Bow. <laughs> 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 Fuck me, diced. Dude, you didn't fuck me. That's 20, dirty 20. Oh, yeah, that is. Yeah. And now, because it's damaged, that's 2d8 plus 1d6. <laughs> oh, Caro. Six and the four, so that's 10 plus 2 plus 5. So, 17 <sighs> on the first one. And then I'll use Savage Attacker again because mm -hmm. raisins. Uh, no, the uh, first one was better, so that's a 17. I think I should have given this thing more health. How do you want to do this? <laughs> yeah! Hey. Rip and tear! Uh, Carl learned from his mistake in the first one, seeing the hands moving across and trying to grasp at somebody. So as it goes in for another grasp on all the individuals in front of it, he's going to aim at center mass of this thing. Aim for the armpit and skewer it through the center of it. Okay. <laughs> all right. So the creature, the uh, the soul shaker, you all hear tele telepathically the screech of the of what sounds like a, a little boy as this thing falls apart, crumbling down into how many? Let me okay. see. Let me find out. Seven dozen hands. Seven dozen <laughs> hands. All become alive. Oh god. Oh jeez. As it. Hold on. Oh god. That's not the right. It, it's, it explodes. It explodes. It's gone into. Oh god. Oh no, no. Oh god, I forgot I can't teleport them all. Ugh, I have to do it one at a time. Hold on. Boop. DM loading. DM loading because I didn't want to have all Go. these tokens. Just like hidden there. Yeah. Probably could have put them all hidden there. That's okay. You do you. <laughs> oh god, I've grabbed the character. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> oh god, God is moving me. <laughs> Into like eight more of those crawling hands. You were quick, you were. 
quick, the one with <laughs> AoE. <laughs> Uh, Yua, there are a whole bunch of these hands. They do appear larger. <laughs> Not like a whole size category larger, but they, they're they like whole arms. As opposed they're to beefier. Their, they're beefier. They're beefier hands. <laughs> or meatier. <laughs> they're meatier hands. Oh, I did. I shouldn't have gotten rid of the... I need to add this thing to the turn order. Hang on. <laughs> It's going to take the turn order of the thing. There we go. Hey. You didn't do your turn, buddy. Oh, oops. I accidentally hit. <laughs> it's your turn. Unless you want to forget your turn, I won't stop you. I will not. Oh, yeah, DM's okay with that. <laughs> uh, with all these little dudes. All the little dudes. Well, well, well. <laughs> well, 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 what? Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was. You, you're, by the way, by the way, you're gonna want to move that cone down because it is not coning them. It's like going above them right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is above them. <laughs> well, well, let me do it for ground level. <laughs> Because, yeah, I do need to know, like, if one of them would be missed. Because there's a cone all the way around. So that's the other thing. It's not just a cone that's flat to the ground. It's it spreads out. So you might actually miss some of them because of the ones that are closest to you. Yeah. Try not to oh, yeah. my friends. Well, unfortunately, it looks like you are. That cone is too big. Uh, yeah. You might, you might, you, I think, yeah, you're gonna get Baylog. I can't, that's like, that's a little too good. Yeah, little so too I'm going in. to move. It does. And take an op attack. Yeah, okay, well, the folks gonna get an op attack off on you. <laughs> yeah, two right there, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the bunch Give of them. Give me those op like attacks. Two, two of them are up. So the first one rolls uh, a dirty 22. She definitely hits you. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, that hits nobody. Four. Uh, three damage. The second one. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Three slashing damage. The second one, that's a dirty 20. Also hits. Four. Six damage. Six damage. A total of nine. Yes. Okay. Two speed down to 24. And now. Sparks begin to build on the edges of mm -hmm. Yua's mouth. Mm -hmm. As she takes a breath. And then releases a cone of electricity. On one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these little dudes. Seven of these little fuckers, okay. Going to be a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, go ahead and tell me what the final damage is for that, because like, so I can go through Ten. Everybody. Ten. Okay, so the first one. <laughs> Uh, you said DC 13? Mm-hmm. First one passes, so that one's gonna take five. Really? Beefier. Yeah, they're beefier. Uh, that okay. one also passes. Hard. That one also passes. That one also passes! <laughs> I mean, I imagine they have a high dexterity. <laughs> they are literally just a limb. That not one much fails. weight, but lots of. So this one here. And that one fails. So you watch as most of these. Was that six or seven? Uh, oh, one more. 
You see this one in the back? I forgot this one in the back. This one succeeds. Here we go. So you watch as most of the crawling claws that were caught in your breath. They're they're definitely injured, but they're able to more readily shake off the electricity while a couple of them fry and go still and crumple. <laughs> Your tactics mean nothing here. Yeah. <laughs> I disagree. No, they're great. I'm just messing around. <laughs> agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Uh, Hence, agree to disagree and just keep on living. You is then going to move here and is spend a key point on the dodge mm -hmm. action as a bonus action. Oh no. You're going to, what is bonus action? And dodge. He's going to use dodge as a bonus dodge action. Dodge as a bonus action, okay. To keep him getting another op attack? Oh. No. No? She's going to have, it's going to impose disadvantage on all attack rules made on her until the beginning of her next turn. Okay. Gotcha. And... Basically, come get it, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with the one close to Baylog. Who is going to go for Baylog? Uh, I'm assuming 10 does not hit you. No. No. Uh, this one is, is uh, has a choice. It can go for either Deet or you, uh? It's gonna go for Deet. Deet. Uh, 14. Does a sorry. 14? Does a 14 I'm hit sorry. me? Does a 14 hit me? No. No. Okay. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Then there's this one who's in the same predicament right between Deet and Yua. Oh, wait. That's wrong, guys. This one's gonna go for Yua. This one's got disadvantage though. Mm. It rolled two fucking threes. <laughs> yeah. well, it's for sixes. Uh, this one is also is already next to shoot to do Yua, so it's gonna go for Yua. That's the wrong guy. Uh, 15. They're not Miss 15, sorry, 14. Misses. The other one was a natural 20, how dare you? Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this one could go for any of the three. So, one, two, Baylog. Three, four, Deet. Five, six. Do you again! <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh god, I'm not even that it rolled a fucking one. <laughs> like I can't nice. roll any lower than that. Alright. And then the Oof last that. one. The last one I'm gonna give the same odds just because this one's gonna go for Baylog. They have a speed of 20. So it's gonna get over here. Skitter, 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 skitter. Skitter, skitter, skitter. Uh that's another goddamn ten is what that is. <laughs> Oh, hands. Do oh, they hand. need a hand? <laughs> hands need a hand. Oh, the hands need a hand. <laughs> My god. That ready to throw hands? Right, deep. <laughs> Go ahead and throw some hands deep. <laughs> okay. Deep is going to... Uh... Hold on. Buffering. Hold on. What's that? Eh, it's still within five feet. Okay, that so. EX is buffering. It, I can't. Oh god, I'm stuck in the side of this guy's ass. Where am I? Eh. There I am. Uh, he's gonna try and like kind of go in here and attempt to tank. <laughs> All right. You did. Hold on. Um, Let me check because you might have you might have procked an op attack off this guy. That's what I was measuring. It's still within five feet. No, right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, um, you're all so tiny? It's yeah, just, exactly. Oh so it's God. just like, I had to double check. It's like, I know I'm tiny, but... 
Um. Oh, which one do I slice? I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna slice. Uh, th this this one, this one. Sure. That one. Uh. Am I still considered flanking that specific uh, board? Yes. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Not that I'm worried, but you know. Oh, excellent. That is a. Am I. Am I still raging at this point? Or did that drop? No, you should be No. Raging. I should be raging? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um. So that is a 22 to hit. Uh, you hit. <laughs> that is a hit. 2d6 plus 7. 16 points of slashing damage. All right. Yeah, you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the splat goes to hand. <laughs> Yay. Anything else? Oh, I didn't realize those two. I thought, hmm, I would have changed my movement up a bit. I didn't real. I, it's fine. I didn't realize these were all the same fucking thing. Uh, except these were dead. I thought these were just variants. No, <laughs> no, they're just look my bad. Because I'm looking like top down, so it's like they're the same shape, but like different shape. colors. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, let's, let's have I'll, it's I'll hang out here. It's fine. It's good. All right. I, oh, and then there's more. God damn it. All right. <laughs> Baylog. Ugh. There's two mm. hands in front of you. Yes, but I can only make one attack. Yep. Actually, what is. What is this thing? Didn't I have well Kill the lobsters. Kill the, kill the hand lobsters. Kill the lobsters, kill the lobsters. What would pouring a flask of oil on the ground be? Is that an action or object interaction? I have a flask of oil that I can ground and then set on fire but i'm not sure it doesn't say if it's an action a bonus action or what so using an item comes to be an action right. most people house rule like potions yeah. to be a bonus yeah um hmm. it yeah uh actively like uncorking and pouring to, like spread the oil that would probably be a full action no i think i'm just gonna hit them with the legs um the right one oh god what's the dice doing i think it's a 12. yep yes which is in total a 16. yeah tits tits that hits <laughs> Oh, that hits, okay. <laughs> you get the tea from that? Both are good. <laughs> Five damage. Five damage. Uh, which one were you hitting? Um, the left one. The, which one? From me, the left. The left. So, uh, you, uh, this one. Okay, okay. you... That, that dies. One. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it dies. Uh, uh, oops. That, whoops, that, that. Oh, Splat goes the hand once again. That die is jiggling. <laughs> Jill the dice. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. So you have another dead hand. Right, and as long as it's stay within five feet, it does not prop opportunity attacks, right? Correct. I'm just gonna move slightly out of sight so Carol gets a nice shot if he wants to. Okay. And that's that. Alright, Leandra. Uh, well, Leandra was going to move and try to hit that other one next to Baylog because Baylog is not obviously doing too well, but Baylog oh, has now it. moved. And. Mm, Whoops. 
<laughs> um, so, uh, this one, um, she's going to Ray of Frost instead. Okay. Roll that Ray of Frost. Yup. Oh, no, that's not good. Um, 11. Just misses. Well, goes uh, blind and splatters ice on the wall. Well, Leandra's work here is done. Caro! Let God see you again next week. <laughs> ah. uh, Caro is going to put the bow away, pull out the axes, and then chuck both of them. Okay. Um, question mark. Uh, and it is not hurt. Um, it's, it's for the abilities. I want to know if I if I profit on there or not. This one over here is not hurt. Okay, cool. He's gonna go for both of those at any rate, but it's good to know I don't get it on that one. Got it. So we'll start with the one on Z left. Okay. Needs to be low. Uh, dirty twenty to hit. Hits. And that one is hurt, so it gets that. Okay, and that's plus four, mm -hmm. eight, nine damage. All right, that is another. So you smash it; it just its axe Im embeds in it in the top of its palm, and it twitches and, bleh. Bleh. and it goes. Bleh. <laughs> and then we'll go after the next one. And I'll hit the right. Oh, that's definitely going to hit. It's well over twenty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, savage attack on this one. Okay, that's a little bit better. That one's eight damage. All right, that one is still standing. Uh, I wish I got that ten. It would have been so good. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's look at. I will continue to, to just. I'm gonna stay by her in case she does some ridiculous shit. Gotcha. All right, you are. <laughs> You are surrounded by bugs! <laughs> well, they're hands, but <laughs> right now they're bugs. <laughs> Might as well be bugs. <laughs> Might as well be bugs. And bugs. Stabby, stabby kick. Stabby, stabby kick, okay. <laughs> All on one, or are you spreading it out? Oh, I'm spreading it out. Okay. It depends on, which, on who dies first. Okay. So, starting with the one uh, directly behind me. Okay. Going to stab going to stab. Uh, that's going to miss. That's going to miss. Your stab misses. <laughs> Oof, I imagine they don't have an AC of 9. No. They definitely beat 9. Seven, second stab. Oh, no. That also miss. Well, maybe. maybe. Uh, hold on. Let me go back to my sheet. <laughs> I need to look. <laughs> just, just to make sure. Twelve. Just hits. Just hits. Oh, thank God. Four. Four points of piercing damage. Uh, it's still... That one is still up. Damn. You have 10 HP? That sucks. Well, I'm going to go ahead and kick the other one to the best right next to it. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a 24. All right. And nine points of lightning damage as she lightning damage. punts this one into the wall. Yeah, but, and that one does indeed get punted into the wall. <laughs> it's quite dead. Dead. Right. It's the hands. This hands. one, uh, Balog is within attacking distance, and we're going to spread the love here, so it's going to go after Balog. Yep. Ah, please, another 10. Huh? No, I was in the five feet. You just have to move. What? That's within... Yeah. It's a tiny creature. Yeah, I'm, I'm still within five feet. Oh, yeah. Jesus, with the scale. 
Somehow the scale of this room feels off. I know, it's because we have so many tiny creatures. <laughs> there's so many small creatures around that it's like, what is happening? Uh, but it doesn't really matter, because uh, it rolled off. Fucking eight. <laughs> nope. The other one is going for you, uh. Well, a five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not... hands. Oh, hands. Come on. This is. <laughs> God damn it. I was excited for that soul shaker. <laughs> hands are not very handy. Hands are not very handy. They're not. Uh, I don't suppose there's any way they're either the- look, I'm gonna be real with you guys. <laughs> one has- they're not surviving this round. <laughs> one has one HP. One has one HP, the other one has eight. <laughs> yeah. They're not yeah. surviving this round, so... <laughs> we can- I think we can get out of there and say, like, yeah, you handily smush the rest of the hands. Smoosh. You exclude you, you, you. You are definitely yeets the one behind her, and the rest of you dog pile on the other one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to extend that longer than it needs to go. <laughs> no, that's okay. Just end my misery. <laughs> Just end the hands. You were successful, and. The thing that apparently had been calling itself Kali is slain. Uh, as soon as that happens, uh, Karo, since you're by Kiana, you watch Kiana collapse to the ground unconscious. Hello, catcher. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a. Yeah, I'll let you have it. But why not? Just so, like. Just kind of pick her up and be like, let's, let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you go. I'm still in, still in turn base mode. There you go. <laughs> pick up all the bodies, check for all the loot. I'm just joking. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> all right. I'm going to, I'm not going to move, Ken. I'm just going to assume that, yeah, you're, you're, you're holding. Yeah. You know, I'll do what you want. I'm going to take, take her out of here. She collapsed immediately afterwards. She was under whatever the hell that thing spell was. <laughs> yeah, Leandra is also just going to swiftly make her way out of this place. Mm -hmm. Did not enjoy. No. One out of ten. Mm -hmm. All right. Cars and you know wait for. Health people to come back. Playtime's over. <laughs> uh, I don't want to deal with body bits anymore. Though someone's gonna have to lay all that shit to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, instead of grab, she, grab, we could play something like she ball. Come with us, or? What? Oh, I can't. A car is holding her. I'm just not moving the token. Oh, okay. I can do this. Wait, I got this. It, it, it. Move our way back up through the cellar. I got it. Bam. You got it. All right. Then out of the room. How do these guys look? I'm just gonna trip out there. Um. So as you come up, uh, the farmers who, <laughs> as you come up, uh, the you you hear you hear commotion. The farmers are all awake now, and as you come in, you, it becomes real. You realize that they're. The rise gone from their eyes. They're going, what? what the hell's? How are we? What's going on? What? Help! Help! All of a sudden, Help. Carol comes in holding. Help! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, I... just, a, just a minute. Just, just a minute. I'm gonna start taking her to her room and put her on the bed. Oh, well, Leandra. You guys could deal with that. <laughs> well, Leandra steps into the room. She's gonna like look around at them. Just. You all nice folks aren't going to try to stab us again or anything like that, are you? What? I swear to God, no. if you do, okay. I'm going to use your heads for decoration. Okay. And she will start uh, untying them. They start... Uh, yeah, yeah, Dee start... will just start gnawing at ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Get them all. Good job, Stand Dee. still, <laughs> otherwise you might lose a finger. Yeah, she was going <laughs> to... 
open palm. At least at least one set of bonds. <laughs> Right, and Kara's opening the bedroom. Oh, closing the bedroom. You put Kiana in the bedroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she unconscious, right? So, yeah. bed. All right, I'll put but it. I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, the farmers are all, whoops, the farmers are all looking at you very, very confused. What? what the f- Congratulations, you for the lucky survivors, or everyone else you know is dead. What do you, what do you mean dead? What happened? Why are we where They lost their hands terribly sorry? <laughs> Not sure if the hands are the biggest problem there, sweetheart, but um For us they certainly were. True enough. Where at... what are we doing at Kiana's house? Well we don't really know all the details and honestly I couldn't tell you what you were doing here, but Oh, something strange certainly has happened, and you were not too friendly when we first met you, I'll tell you that. You... Wait. We weren't... Thank you for the lurk, Ken. Oh, it's all I remember. Hope you have a wonderful day with your family. All I remember is being on the road to promise for the festival, what... You saying some some killed the others? Yes. Well, there are. Is a lot- it? Is it gone? Well, we certainly took care of something. I I would imagine that is what brought the unfortunate events to this place. Yes, but um. Oh, you can't. So you saved us. Yes, well, first we put you to sleep, and then we tied you up, and then we saved you, yes. But we did have to do those first things, because you were kind of attacking us, sweetheart. It was very, very unpleasant. Well, shit. And uh, one of the ones at the back uh, moves to, like, unclasp a, uh, a a bag that he's, he's having his belt here. He's like, well, shit, it ain't much. Is there something? And he hands the 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 bag to uh, to you, Leandra. Oh, well, well, it's like a backpack, I should say. Oh, no. Well, we we are getting paid to look into this, so it's it's really not necessary, honestly. Um, it's. I saw again. Uh, the least we could do. Some mighty useful item. I think you might find it. Uh, <laughs> they call that a handy haversack. <laughs> one of the most useful things you can find around on here. I can get another one. Oh, okay, then. Thank you very much. Uh, we appreciate it. I, I don't suppose. Uh, what's the last thing you all remember? Anything strange? You're traveling out to Promise for the festival. That's it? And, yeah. Uh, maybe a couple bits and pieces? Well, I, I, I remember this. You sound to say hands. I do remember hands. <laughs> there have been but, a lot of hands, yes. Well, uh, we weren't on the road. We were just, we were just prepping, you know? We were all in our homes, packing our clothes, getting the horses ready to go, and... Kiana, Miss Kiana was acting real weird. Yes. Some just kept talking about her. Just kept trying to convince us her dead friend was talking to her. It was real, real weird. Real weird. Mm, it, it does seem that something had probably taken. I I don't know the identity of her her childhood friend. I. It, she certainly <laughs> seemed to think that the the handy little thing was her friend, but um. Oh. Oh shit! This sounds sounds like hell down there. All right, uh, Car, what you doing? There's, do we... Oh, I just want to reopen the door. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she's she's still like conversation or something. Get the cook. Yeah, he thought about it uh, after the fact. That's not a good idea to leave that closed. He doesn't know what's gonna happen with her. <laughs> so, all right. So yeah, y'all continue. Um, was there anything else you wanted to do immediately? 
Can we pop? Can we go up to one of the 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 the, the, the farmers and be like, um, can we borrow a cart? Because she's probably going to be asleep for a while, and Balog has a donkey. If we could hitch it up, we could take her back with us to I, her family. If you can find one, uh, it seems a bit. And it's just one of the farmers is like, at this point, the farmers are absolutely just walking around, looking around. And do- one's poked outside. It's like, if you could find one, it doesn't look like, doesn't look like a lot's pretty stable out there. Mm-hmm. Right. Guess we'll just throw her with the donkey's back. You sure you want to wander out? You look like, gestures to be like, you look like you're a fucking mess, kid. You sure you don't want to Rest for a minute. Tell me what to do and you'll be a mess. <laughs> First, <laughs> I'm checking after Olaf. <laughs> He's just gonna go and check after Olaf. Man, there's, there's some big predators around here. Oh, really? I have yeah. noticed. Here, when you go outside, your, your donkey is where you left him. He's just... Just a mess of bone and a coyote eating it. <laughs> Uh, there was a token here for him somewhere. Um, I don't know where he went, but the token has stood up and walked away. The token stood up. And... Yeah, he's meandered off. He's. <laughs> I think. I think I actually tied him to somewhere here. Yeah, he probably did. Hold on, I'm trying to find him. No, imagine that. No, God don't damn, imagine that. <laughs> I smell uh, look, it. Well, Navi, oh. there's too many. There's, there's. Here you go. There you go, we'll just pop right there. There you go, token donkey. 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 Kind of movement of it? Hmm? Oh, and... Moving it? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, whatever. Jurisdiction. There you go. Yay. There you are. My turn. So... (laughs) Yeah, so you're looking up, looking around for a cart? Yeah, I'll start looking oh, around. Just... Mm-hmm. Yeah. So... I'm not going to require a roll for this. Uh, it does... You do not find a stable cart within close proximity of this fat farmhouse. You spend... easily the better part of an hour trying to find something that hasn't either been broken uh, been overgrown with rotting plants that makes the wood questionable at best, or otherwise in a state of disrepair. Thank you, Snowlight, for contributing um, to the community but challenges. As you start returning to the farmhouse to figure out your next steps, you do see Lady Dre's cart start coming up the... start to come... Still just told me to take my glasses off, so I'm gonna do that while I'm DMing. Um, I... <laughs> Don't really have a way to say no. If someone could track ten minutes for me, I can't. I don't have my phone next to me. I have stopped. 20, 20, Twenty-eight after. Okay. I got you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you do see Lady Dre's cart as she comes up along the path to the house. Thank you, Peter, for contributing to uh, the community challenges. I never thought I would be happy seeing her. Um, inside. Anyone who's inside too. Um, Car, are you still in Kiana's room? Uh, no, I went out to go look for the cart. You went to go, okay. Um, I think Deep went in the room, though. Is anyone with Kiana? Uh, Leandra is outside. The room is outside. Is Deep also oh, there? No, no I, I left. skittered oh, about. Yeah. Okay, you skittered up. So... <laughs> I, saw, I saw you on the desk at one point. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna do about it, big during, man? During that hour, Deep was on the desk. Um, <laughs> while you're watching Kiana instead of Kara while Kara's trying to help find a cart. Um, after a, roughly an hour, Kiana starts to come to. This glass thing's gonna be a shame because there's shit I gotta read. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Or you only have uh, nine more minutes. I know, it's great. Yeah, when she starts to come to, Leandra is going to like slowly walk into the room and just I feel like looking to see if she seems okay. Um, 
Give me an insider medicine check. Okie dokie. Let's see what is better. Insight. Oh yeah, insight. Uh, 17? 17. Um... She seems... She seems alright. You're not sure if she's still under the effect of anything, but... She looks like she was probably just suffering from exa- ex- extreme exhaustion. And that was, you know, sleep deprivation. Yeah. Uh, but Kiana sort of sees you staring at her, pulls her head back, like, Hello? Hello, darling. How are you feeling? Exhausted. Oh, I can imagine. Oh. oh. What's, um... He's dead, isn't he? I'm afraid. So, yeah, see. Your your friend probably was dead. No, he was not alive to begin with. First time around, yes. Yeah. I... I just... I think showed up and had his voice and it... I don't know why, I just thought... So it just it told me oh, I he wasn't dead. We could we could be friends again. I could take stay with him for a, Fuck what? I just, I think I gotta get out of here. That might be wise. Yes, we we were sent here by her aunt. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were sent here by your aunt, and uh, I I highly suggest you come back with us when we tell her that we found you. It probably would do you some good after, after all this. That's, yeah. I, there's, fuck, I, I hope to move out here to get away from the, from the memories of that shit's followed me here. I, I don't, I don't need to. I don't need to, the, the, the reminders of the shit that was my fault, you know? Like, I think going back to Prom's probably a good idea. Mm. Yes, I'm sorry about whole, how all of this turned out, darling, but yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's take you back, shall we? So, back outside, Lady Dre's cart pulls up, there's a house, and uh, who's all by the road and was watching the cart? Uh, I think Jaina, Karo, and Tatsul. Actually, ex- probably everyone except Leandra. <laughs> Every, except for Leandra and Deet. Um, unless Deet came outside. Alright. I'm out here with Deet you outside. right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't see very well right now. <laughs> my glasses Don't are worry. on my face. <laughs> Six <laughs> more minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I'm asking who's outside watching the rogues. I can't tell whose token is who right now. <laughs> um... So, yeah, anyone looking at the road, Lady Dre's cart pulls up, Tungsten's in the back, and they look like, Oh, hi! You're still out and about! You find the girl! Sort of? She's not Quickly. dead, is she? No, she's alive. Sort uh, of. <laughs> Was right. for time, kind I, of. The Anshu currently. I got a sort of, and if she's fine, is she sort of okay or is she fine? <laughs> that remains she to be coming. seen. Um, she's very tired. She was sleeping last I saw. Huh. All right. Well. It's gonna, uh, her and Tungsten will come up towards the house, and at this point we're kind of just, I'm just feeding her the mining a little bit. Um, Tungsten will walk up, it's like, and, uh, of the things that, of whatever was caused in the possession of those farmers, any word on what that was? Uh, probably her. Oh, well, actually, it- 
some creature possessing her and a ball of hands, sort of. I'm going to go feed all of Creature button. So, you go when they go in, you manage to bundle Kiana onto the cart. Well, I say bundle, she comes willingly, needs a little bit of support, but comes willingly, bundles the cart, and start making your way back uh, to Promise, unless there was anything else you would want to do before you left this area. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right. So you all return to Promise. I'm going to. Since we're no longer need this map. Oop. Thank you, Tailspire, for closing that. We're just gonna gonna go to the void of theater of the mind. <laughs> um. After we'll say a night's rest, you since it was getting onto nighttime there. Uh, nights, a night's rest where you all find a semi-suitable spot to make Kit to sleep before traveling back the long winding path through the rattle, through the ribbon, and back to Promise. Um, to find Aunt Deli and bring Kiana to her. The second Aunt Deli sees the group and sees Kiana, she runs to you, grabbing her goddaughter in a tight embrace, crying tears of joy. Like, you found her, you found her! Oh my star! She's okay! Tell me, tell me, tell me everything. What happened? <laughs> Well, first of all, there were a lot of hands. A lot of hands? Yes, it was quite it was unpleasant. A quite unhand situation. <gasps> mm. That's... A lot of hands. What do you mean by hands? Like, severed hands? Handprints? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And yes, some dwarf. creature oh, made up of hands, arms. And... A creature. Also, yes. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes. No, I've heard of, I think, of such things. That's a... <sighs> that is dark magics, I think. Um, mm. Oh, are the... Yes, the farmers that we saw before, are they... Better now? Yes, yes. I, last night, it, it was incredible. They all, one second they were still possessed and mindless, and the next second they're just like they just woke up from a nap. It's none of them have any idea of what was going on, where they are, what, well, they know where they're from. They realized they were in promise, but they were very confused about how they got here. Yes. Well, it appears that this creature, whatever it was, had somehow uh, convinced Kiana it was her dead childhood friend. Um, oh, my dear. It was probably somehow controlling her, and I, I guess the farmers as well. We, I, I'll admit, I don't really know the connection between the two, but it does seem to be connected as the farmers that attacked us over there, we're completely fine after we had dealt with the, the handsy thing. So. Um, so Those tugs will have quite a story to tell after this. Yes? Uh, I, that place is probably not where anybody is going to want to live for a while. I think most of the town was killed in that. And a lot of their bodies were mutilated <laughs> oh dear yeah Good luck. it uh, it's true i went down and checked myself uh, you're allowed to take your glasses on back okay thank you uh yeah i did what rights i could but um we'll have to come back later and perform full rights and burial 
the remaining farmers, I can help them uh, blend or help them um, merge with Uncle Polder's community, I think. I I'm sure he would love m more folks over there. Well, well, mm -hmm. <laughs> it seems you folks have helped us quite a deal. As promised, I, as promised, found my god touch, he brought it back to me, it has a hundred gold, and you know what? If you're ever passing through here and need passage, I will take you on my boat anytime. Oh, thank you very much. That is very of kind of you. Of course. So, thank you. And... Yeah. Well, the festival's still going on. I'm going to get something to eat and sit in the corner for a while. Yes! <laughs> enjoy! Enjoy! The festival be on for the rest of the entirety of the week. Please continue. And <laughs> as you all scatter about the festival to enjoy the, the newfound mirth as... A great malicious evil has been quelled. Farmers, um, the possessed farm folk released from their mental binds. There is joy and mourning side by side as it's revealed who did not make it and who did survive. And it turns into a great, as it is from the beginning, a great celebration of life out here in the God's Breath. Eventually you all start return home until the next time adventure calls. That's the end of Ritman Blood. <laughs> hey, Yay. we didn't die. Yay, we didn't officially die. Level four. <laughs> you are officially level four. Yay. Um, I know it's bad taste, but I, I took no damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't either. No. Did? Yeah, no. I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Man, oh, I was. Oh. I had to whiff it on that one. It's able to. I was like, God, I was so. Ex I'll have to show you that stat block. Um, that thing had a casting of Gius. Oh, oh, what? yeah. That? A spell, <laughs> but yeah, I I thought about using it, but it takes a minute. It's like no, that that no, it can't. Yeah. Geese, what essentially is that you you compel somebody into a contract essentially and yep. they have to follow the terms or they start yep. dying because of it yep. oh they can take 5d10 of damage once a day they can fuck you up <laughs> they can fuck you up real bad um but you guys all four um, um does the does the negative hp modifier <laughs> stay you're good you're good yeah you're 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 rusted it, it goes away on a long rest so you're fine oh, okay good um, to make it easy, we're gonna say for the time being, since fuck yeah, max health. <laughs> yep, Leandra, same you here. Have... Nice, Leandra has in her possession. Oh, is it? A Hewards handy haversack. If you want to add that to her inventory. A oh, nice. Um, a what a, now? A, a Hewards oh, handy haversack. Oh. Although I will say, when you do open for the first time, a crawling claw climbs up, <laughs> which is swiftly dealt with, I'm sure, <laughs> but scares the crap out of you regardless. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Um, and it doesn't even try to attack you; it just tries to scuttle away. And you're like, no, <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> um, oh shit! Scuttle, 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 scuttle. scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Like the tongue into. <laughs> Sorry. And all of you, because I already did the math, uh, get twenty gold. 20 gold. Okay. Um, yeah. Still very poor. Yeah. <laughs> I had to verify that I was human again. What was the name of the, the, the sack again? Uh, Heward's Handy Haversack. It's, oh. It's kind of, yeah, it's pretty cool. No, I just found something else. Uh, I'm just finding you know Handy Haversack. Handy Haversack, yep. 
You can make D and D beyond shiny, and I just found out how. The <laughs> oh, the, the, oh, what the, the, with the party mode? <laughs> yep, the party. I thought that was random, but no, if you just randomly t click on that, it appears. Okay. Yep. Wait, party mode? What? <laughs> Discuss in a second. All right. So, uh, so next time we'll have to decide if y'all are playing uh, new characters or keeping with this ones. I imagine you guys are going to be sticking with these ones, though. <laughs> yep. At this moment. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm almost, having fun with Taro. I almost knocked one of you out. <laughs> oh, yeah, almost. Got so yeah. close. <laughs> that auto grapple, it does a lot. If you could have gotten multiple people in that grapple, that's where it would have been hard. I can't. I can only grapple one of them. I can only grapple one of them. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. That would have been so terrifying. Oh, it would have been the worst. Yeah, the welcome to fall, I was thinking I needed to. I was like, I should have given this thing more health because it, it is terrifying. It does a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, because it's, it is meant to be played with level three characters they're like let's not make it too crazy <laughs> but <laughs> then you got monk got, and carl <laughs> yeah i got monk and carl and then I, got <laughs> by the dice. I got dice yeah. fucked real good i mean even like even my total damage like d was dealing a comb in one hit a combined total of my three attacks it was just yeah like when it can't when it came to single target damage we were all of us were just like blasting. Yeah, blasting. yeah I did. I didn't even use uh, his racial ability. Could have added more damage. I was waiting for a crit because it would have been it would have been four d eight plus two d six plus two d six. It was going to be interesting. Is that thing uh, was supposed to have they had a farmer show up after about two rounds if mm -hmm. you had left them alive, and you didn't leave them alive. So I was like, oh, they're going to wake up and come down there. Nice. And then he tied them all up, and I was like, I rolled like, I was basically, I was going to be like, all right, on every turn, I'm going to roll like a joint dex, and if any of them pass, that one will start coming down. And no. I got oh, some good right. not tying abilities. Yeah, you, you tied them all up real good. And I was just like, <laughs> Damn. For the hog tie. I'm like, no, let's get the arms and legs just in case. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, there was the crawling, the crawling claws, which I. I buffed those, and for that final bit, I was like, no, I'm going to make these not completely pointless <laughs> at the very end here. <laughs> yeah, that would, honestly, like, uh, objectively on that bit, if if it's really just, hey, it explodes into a bunch of one HP hands, like, come on, game, no. who made this module? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it was it was good. It was. I think the idea was that I was supposed to be a little bit luckier on the rolls with some of the hands and everything, because... Because, you know, you went up there with the farmers and you got attacked by the farmers and got fucked up. And if you hadn't just immediately blasted all the hands, you would have gotten a little bit more fucked up. And then it's, oh, that's a much more frightening encounter. Um, and then there's the there's the whole fight with the coyote before that. Like, it's basically all implied that there's you're probably not doing this. With the, you're probably not taking a long rest this whole time. Mm -hmm. um, so I understand that. If if this is, Which is built true. With the, yeah, this is built with the idea that they the character the players might not take a long rest the entire time. So on that front, they couldn't make anything that strong. No, but you have players that are like, I know how to yeah. I know how to uh, not use all of my shit at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the magic missile. I I mean I thought I thought still thought it was fun. It was fun to run. No, it was fun. It was fun to run. <laughs> I was like, oh, I should have given that thing 10 more HP. <laughs> yeah, I get one more round in it. One more, <laughs> round. one more round. Let me hit one more person. Just, oh, good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> He's playing Smash on story mode. Oh, good. All right. But I think that's where, that's where the FOD's going to end for this. I got to pick a feat now. You got to pick a feat, yeah. Uh, it's almost two o'clock. So yeah, I don't think we're not gonna start up the next one today. We'll save that yeah. for next week. Yeah. Um, which is good. That means I get to sp spend more time actually, like, you know, <laughs> building that out. Well, here, question for everybody: There is anybody changing their characters for nope. the next one? Nope. Nope. I'm currently no, already leveling them up. Yep. Then you know what you're working against. <laughs> I do. Uh, Rach, are you gonna stick with Deep? Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Isaac, yeah. you sticking with Yua? Isaac. That's a question. determined. <laughs> Where? Is he disconnected again? Isaac. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, there are. Are you are. sticking with Yua? Okay, now, it's, yes, I'm sticking with Yua. It's just okay. reconnected. 
<laughs> Interest reconnected. You, oh, Just you two a minute, getting, please. You two are getting got. All right, I'm going to death it real quick and right out. And yep, then... I'm going to do the same. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see, who is streaming at the moment? Um, you know, it's been a while since we raided Irwin, so yeah, let's let's go see Irwin. Um, there we go. Guys, thank you so, so much for stopping by. I do hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, I will be back again tomorrow. There will be shenanigans again. Um... <laughs> It's so fun to play Leander because she is so different from Era, and it's just... It's a very different mindset, and I'm, I'm having a blast with it. But yeah, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, or night. I hope you have fun with Erwin, and uh, yeah. If I don't see you tomorrow, then I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye!